So, you want the cloud career path that will make you filthy rich. Well, let me tell you, it's not what you think. It's not about climbing the corporate ladder in the hope that one day when you are 60, you can retire comfortably. It's not about job hopping from one place to another in search for a better salary. If it was that easy, everyone would be filthy rich. Instead, what you need to do is leverage a simple three-step blueprint that anyone can follow. Hi, I'm Suleiman. I'm a cloud engineer and I run my own cloud security consultancy. The secret blueprint that nobody's talking about made me quit my $20,000 a month contracting role in London because I instantly knew I discovered something special. And the best part, I'm giving it away to you for free. All you have to do is pay attention to the whole video because only then it will make sense. And by the way, grab my beginner's guide to the cloud. It's free. Link in the description. All right. Step one is to learn cloud computing. And let me ask you, have you been watching the stock market lately? Nvidia has been on absolute tear in the last few years. And at a time of recording this video, it's up 180% this year alone. Their GPUs, once just rendering graphics, are now the backbone of AI and machine learning in data centers across the world. NVIDIA is dominating the cloud computing space. Every major cloud provider, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, they are all clamoring for NVIDIA's chips. It's a gold rush and NVIDIA is selling the pickaxes. But why is this happening? Well, it all comes down to the explosive growth of the cloud computing market. It's growing at 16.5% every single year, with the total market expected to triple in size by 2032. And if you're not learning this today, you risk falling behind. In fact, let me be real, you are already behind. And it's not just Nvidia. The entire tech industry is being reshaped by cloud computing. So where do you come in? Well, with this much growth, companies desperately need skilled professionals to help them do it. And here is where it gets really interesting. A recent study found that 92% of organizations are facing shortages in their cloud teams. And you know what happens when the demand is high and the supply is low? That's right, you are in massive demand and the salaries go through the roof. When I landed my first cloud job after three months of learning, my salary virtually doubled. And that's not uncommon. The average salary for a cloud engineer in the US is around $134,000. Remember, you want to get filthy rich, which brings me to step two, niching down and specialize. But where? The first area is cloud security, which is all about protecting cloud-based systems data and infrastructure. You'll be implementing security measures to guard against cyber attacks, data breaches, and unauthorized access to cloud resources. You can get all of these tutorials elsewhere on YouTube because I'm not going to get into those. Instead, I'm here to give you the business perspective and how you can actually get filthy rich. Because what I do is I run multiple businesses and I found that everyone wants to ultimately do this, work for themselves on their own schedule, travel whenever they want. So I want to give you the perspective on why you need to specialize. Because when you know why, you'll figure out how to do it. I've worked in the IT industry for over a decade. I started off as a tech apprentice, moved into software, and then I made the jump into cloud engineering about five years ago. I had to make the switch to the cloud because I was noticing just how fast this space was growing coupled with the salary potential. It was a no brainer, but just learning cloud fundamentals wasn't enough. I wanted to become an irreplaceable expert that is always in demand and the best at what I do. As I delve deeper into the cloud, one thing became glaringly apparent. Cloud security has the most demand while having nobody to fill the jobs. And the data today supports this. For the second year in a row, cloud security tops the list of the most desired skills. To compound this, cloud security is also also the number one area where organizations report a skills gap, 35% to be in fact. Organizations need cloud security experts because the average cost of a data breach in 2023 was $4.4 million. And that's why companies are willing to pay top dollar experts who can keep their cloud environments secure. Cloud security specialists in the US can easily earn between $150,000 to $250,000 with top experts earning significantly more. Now, speaking of cloud security, I want to introduce you to a tool that's essential for aspiring cloud engineers. 
Docker Scout. Docker Scout is designed to identify security issues, outdated packages, and potential compliance problems within container images. It's like having a security expert by your side as you learn and build. And here is why Docker Scout is a game changer. It gives you real-time insights into your container images security status. It helps you build a more secure software supply chain from development to production. It integrates seamlessly with tools that you are already using, like Docker Desktop and Docker Hub. And by incorporating Docker Scout, you're developing critical security skills that sets you apart in the job market. And for a limited time only, you can try Docker Scout for free, link in the description below. And thank you to Docker for sponsoring today's video. Now, the second area that you need to specialize in, which is the elephant in the room, and some people don't like talking about this or what it represents, artificial intelligence. AI, in short, aims to create machines capable of performing tasks typically requiring humans. This includes learning, reasoning, problem solving, perception, and understanding language. I mean, just look at Tesla's demonstration of the humanoid bot. AI is developing rapidly. Almost every day, there is a new development. And that's why I've doubled down on AI in the last six months. AI infrastructure, AI agents, AI development lifecycle, AI models, why? Because being able to architect secure AI solutions in the cloud is a skill set that's extremely in high demand and short supply. As AI becomes more prevalent, so do the security concerns around it. You'll be perfectly positioned to tackle emerging challenges like AI model security, data privacy and machine learning, and secure AI deployments at scale. You know, I breathe this industry every single day. I run an education company. I run my own cloud security consultancy, and I've sat in meetings where CEOs and CFOs what my personal opinion on AI and cloud security, because they are all being questioned internally. How are you taking advantage of the explosion in AI and the opportunity it represents? To me, the combination of AI and cloud security isn't just in demand. It's like the gold rush in 8048. I actually learned this from Luke Belmar, but the story goes like this. Rumors spread that somebody found gold in a river in California, and it was later confirmed by the US president, leading to 300,000 people fleeing from East Coast to California in search for this gold. The intersection of AI and cloud security is today's gold rush, except we are in this discovery phase. The US president hasn't confirmed the rumors yet. And that's why I am going all in right now. They say preach what you teach. And that's why I'm here giving you the actual blueprint that I'm doing myself. And now the final step, what will truly make you filthy rich in the long term, you are going to set up your own cloud security and AI consultancy. As a consultant, we'll provide expert advice and services to companies looking to secure their cloud infrastructure and AI systems. I'm not saying this is easy but you want to be filthy rich and this is what it's going to take. You'll be brought in to assess companies' current cloud infrastructure, identify vulnerabilities, recommend solutions, and often implement those solutions. With your AI expertise, you'll also be perfectly positioned to help companies secure their AI models and machine learning pipelines. You see, on my journey in cloud computing, I quickly realized that by specializing in securing cloud-based AI systems, I'd position myself right where the action is. And most importantly, will be in the future. The thing is, when you can build and secure anything a company wants in the cloud, whilst also implementing AI solutions, you become more than just another tech professional. You become an irreplaceable asset. Companies don't just want your skills. They need your expertise to stay ahead. And that's how you achieve true freedom. The thing is, you don't need millions in the bank for freedom or true happiness. When you are running your own consultancy. You are the boss. You work for yourself, answering to no one but your clients who you work with, who are paying you. You've got location freedom. And that's exactly what a cloud security consultancy can unlock for you. By the way, I know what you're thinking. This sounds great, but it's way out of my league. Well, you're right. It is. It takes time. You can't just snap your fingers and have a thriving consultancy. You need to put in the work, learn cloud computing, specialize in AI and cloud security. But I found that it's important to have this vision in your mind 
of where you see yourself in a few years. It makes the day-to-day -day grind a lot easier. And by the way, if you like my perspectives and are interested in a career in cloud computing, then consider joining my Cloud Engineer Academy. I'll take you from beginner with no IT experience to job-ready cloud engineer in 12 weeks. And don't take my word for it. Check out Jay's story. He went from banking to cloud hired in less than six months with no technical skills or technical background. Link in the description. Now, everyone always asks me, when I work for myself, how do I get my foot in the door and actually land clients? Like, how do you do it, Soleiman? I can tell you what I didn't do to land my first client. Pay for advertising. Not only because I have my YouTube channel, which naturally brings me in companies that want my services, but I didn't want anyone to see my ads and pay for my services. When, let's be real, I'm just starting out. I don't have a clue what I'm doing. And neither will you when you just launch. Instead, I recommend you offer your services for free, just like I did. And hear me out, you offer free services in exchange for something priceless when you're starting out. Testimonials. This is the playbook. Offer to work for free for your first few clients in exchange for testimonials, but only if they think you've over-delivered on your services. This gives you a room to to learn and make mistakes without risking your reputation or disappointing paying clients. And after delivering successful projects, you have testimonials and a portfolio showcasing your real world experience. You can then just use these as leverage to start charging for your services. But here is a key tip. Don't price your services based on an hourly rate. This is what all the newbies do. Price it based on the value that you provide the business. This is what I do in my cloud security consultancy. And how do you quantify this value? Well, you just worked for those initial clients. You have the proof of the results that you've delivered. Use this data to demonstrate the tangible benefits you can bring to a business. Increase efficiency, cost savings, enhance security, whatever metrics are relevant to your projects. Remember, businesses don't pay for your time. They pay for solutions to their problems. And when you can clearly articulate how you solve critical business problems, you can command premium rates. Now, to continue growing your consultancy, you need to focus on becoming known as the go-to expert in cloud security and AI. You have to start posting on LinkedIn, sharing your expertise on YouTube. Your face just has to be everywhere, like mine. Because as a consultant, you're not just selling your service, you are selling yourself. Companies don't just want your skills. They want your expertise, your insights, your unique perspective. And as the years go by, your personal brand becomes stronger. People in the industry start to recognize your name. They seek out your content. They want to hear you speak. They want to work with you specifically. You're not just another cog in the machine. You are the machine. This is why becoming a consultant is so much more powerful than just climbing the corporate ladder. You are building something that's truly yours, something that grows in value as you grow in expertise. And if you want to know how to get started in cloud computing, then you need to watch this video where I break down exactly how I quit my job and made the switch to the cloud in only three months.